Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. I'm along the Dog Pound Creek down in the Olds area where the Alberta Conservation Association is partnering with landowners on improving the riparian zone from ranch land down to the Dog Pound Creek area. They're also working with cows and fish and other conservation groups. Like many other central Alberta streams, Dog Pound Creek could use some help. For a number of years, organizations like the Alberta Conservation Association and Cows and Fish have been working with the agricultural community to adopt new methods which can better protect sensitive stream bank vegetation. So we signed 10-year agreements with landowners and these agreements include tools and resources for the landowners to create that healthy buffer along the river and the landowners through the agreement agree to idle that land from livestock for example or if it's a crop field for example they create that healthier buffer that allows the riparian area to do its function. So here's another example of where it's beneficial to have the cattle diverted from the riparian area. As you can see, willow species are already coming back, as well as this healthy sedge vegetation here, which is providing those deep binding roots that support the bank to prevent further erosion. Of course, this opportunity to work on land like this wouldn't be possible without the cooperation of landowners. Uh, I, I was very excited. I'm very passionate about uh, ecological uh, conservation. I'm really passionate about my riparian zones. Uh, cows get kind of a bad rap when it comes to you know the, their impact on environment. And a lot of what I've done in the past, as well as working with uh, ACA, is I like to manage my riparian areas and show that cows can be good for the environment. And it was very fortuitous that Aaron and ACA came up with uh, a program that they were trying to implement on the dog pound, which is what goes through our entire, uh, our entire ranch. I found that their program and their funding and the equipment that they had access to and could help provide was gonna be a perfect fit for you know, the things that we like to do here. Also helping out on the project is Trout Unlimited's Northern Lights Fly Fishing Club, which helped purchase this off-site watering system, while a portable electric fence ensures cattle remain in designated areas away from the creek. One of the benefits of working with the Alberta Conservation Association is some of the new tools that are available to landowners these days, such as this portable electric fencing unit, which can be moved around to better manage livestock. Partnerships play an important role in many of the ACA projects, and in this case, cows and fish bring a wealth of knowledge about this ranch. We've been working with the Labrie family for um, probably over a decade, and uh, they're one of the real gems of uh, ranching families in the province, and they wanted to do things right from the beginning. So they knew that uh, when they were purchasing uh, some new property that they wanted to get it right from the start and do things like off fencing to restrict livestock access and provide off-stream watering sources for their cattle as well. So they're reducing the impacts in the riparian area and the potential for damage to those sites. Um, some new funding that we've got from the Alberta government, specifically Alberta Environment and Parks, that's been targeted at some of these eastern slopes areas in the province, have allowed us to come in and do monitoring of riparian health once projects have been put in place, like offsite watering and fencing, so that hopefully in about five years' time we'd be able to come back and say to the ranching family like that they've done a great job and we're seeing these changes, these positive changes in repairing health in response to the management that they're implementing. Ultimately, all this work is to provide opportunities for us to enjoy some fishing and being able to share his land with anglers is something Sean is looking forward to. I, I was almost proud to have an angler walk through grass that was up to his waist or up to his chest to find a little you know, pool that was overhanging with branches and grass where, where the fish like to hang out. And I have quite a few places or um, spots where you can do that now, where the grass 
way overhangs the bank where there's some trees where you can kind of throw yourself into. And you know what, if, if one of those anglers wants to tell his buddy that I found the greatest place on the whole dog pound plate, on the whole dog pound creek, and it's at the Difficulty Ranch, I, I would be so happy to, you know, to have that kind of feedback.